Good morning listeners and welcome to the Trade Talk podcast. Listeners, today we will again face several hurdles like rising in bond yields, crude oil prices and frequent FI selling. Strong quarterly numbers from SBI and Tata Steel will support it as a tailwind. In the past week, benchmark indices registered a sharp pullback rally with Nifty closing 400 points higher after a volatile week, while Sensex was up 1400 points. Among sectors, all major sectoral indices were trading in the green, but metal indices outperformed, rising over 6.5%. Technically, the market managed to trade above the 50 days simple moving average, but saw profit booking near 20 days simple moving average during the week which was around 17,800 levels. After a roller coaster pace, Nifty finally maintained the 50-day simple moving average level, which is largely positive. On the weekly chart, the index has formed an upper shadow bullish candle, which is indicating us indecisiveness between the bulls and bears. Had Nifty close above 17,600, it would have been more positive for the market. Now, 17,450-17,400 would be sacrosanct support level for the market, above which the index may continue to move higher till 17,650-17,750. On the other hand, an uptrend below the levels of 17,650 or 700 will keep the market down and uh, if we see the market is breaking the level of 17,400 then it would turn weak and could trigger short term weakness up to 17,300 or even 17,200 levels where the market is having ultimate support. In the current week, we have weekly expiry and on Thursday, also we have to face a credit policy during market house. Talking about the bank nifty, we think 38,200, 37,900 would be good support levels for the bank nifty. 37,500 would remain the decisive support. Below that, we can expect major weakness in the market. On the higher side, 39,500 and 40,000 can be a big hurdle. But while looking at the weekly formation of the bank nifty, there is a scope to touch the levels of 40,000. But as the week is going to remain volatile and news based, we need to follow specific levels which we have mentioned in our weekly report and based on that we can design our trading strategy. In the current week again we are going to focus on commodities, financials as well as select FMCG stocks. Friends, that's all from my side for the day. With this, I'm ending today's morning podcast. Thank you and have a great day to all of you.